Welcome back everybody to another watch party. Big events happen. Cobra Kai Season 2, the full trailer, has now come out. I think the one word to describe this trailer is intense. Everything about it felt very intense. I think Season 2 is going to be very intense. Obviously, I just made a video about the possibility somebody's going to die. I was thinking Tori. That video was based a lot on Karate Kid 2 and the parallels between what would be Karate Kid 2 and Season 2 of Cobra Kai. And now after watching this trailer, my first reaction was, holy shit, someone's going to get killed. Um, I assume you have now seen this trailer five, ten times. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each individual character and try to make an analysis. Let's start with Hawk. Now we know season two is about the rivalry between Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do, and I think the focal point of that is going to be Hawk versus Robbie. Now you remember this actually began at the end of the last season. Even early to fix that stupid haircut. Hawk this season is reprimanded and punished uh, by Johnny for that illegal kick when Hawk retaliated against Robbie. I think this is going to be building up this season. Uh, we know Robbie is back in the school. I don't think he will let up. He's more like his father that way. He's going to keep uh, sort of insulting, intimidating Hawk. Um, it's important to remember uh, Robbie actually never saw Eli. He never saw the before person, before he became Hawk. He doesn't know why Hawk has his hair like that. And I think we see that in him. I do think uh, Robbie's trash talk is going to continue. It's going to be the catalyst for the mall fight. Now, before we get into that, let's talk about Dimitri. Everyone out there is thinking uh, the fight is between Hawk and Dimitri and their rivalry is going through the season. I think this is wrong. I think there's a little deceptive editing in the trailer that's making people think that. Now, we do know Dimitri does join Miyagi-Do. Uh, but I think he's doing it for more basic reasons. Uh, basically, he doesn't want to be the hooker. He said that straight up last season. In fact, it does look like he's getting in the middle of karate from other people, uh, like here and like here, uh, where Sam's stunt double is jumping off his back. Uh, but I don't think Hawk is after Dimitri in the mall fight, uh, because mostly if he were, uh, he would have him right here in the beginning uh, when they do grab Dimitri. I think they're grabbing him because he wants to know where Robbie is, and that's what starts the fight. If you look here, there's bodies all over the ground, uh, but Dimitri is actually standing right there. If Hawk wanted Dimitri, he would get him. Uh, instead, Hawk is going after Robbie. That's what Hawk wants. We know the fight goes uh, badly for Hawk. He gets kicked in the face. And this scene we've seen a few times where he's training here. We can see the bruise on his face from Robbie's kick. I think this scene is going to take place uh, after the mall fight. Maybe later that night. He's going back. He's training. He wants revenge on Robbie. This scene where people are getting tricked here. Uh, he says, let's finish the fight. But if you look, he's standing outside. The trailer cuts straight to the scene with Dimitri. Uh, but if you look, Hawk here is outside. I think he's at the Miyagi Dojo. I think he's come back to challenge Robbie. Uh, he wants to finish the fight. I don't know if this scene is like the same day as the mall fight. Or maybe even this scene is towards the very end of the season. I think the mall fight is going to be midway through the season. I think it's sort of the, the center point between Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do, like the cafeteria fight was in season one. So I think Hawk's arc for this season is a slow descent into sort of a rage, the Cobra Kai way. He's taking the lessons from Kreese. He wants to finish the fight from the tournament. He wants to finish the fight from the mall. He's after Robbie. Robbie keeps uh, insulting him, pushing him around. Hawk doesn't want it. Hawk wants to finish it. Now let's talk about Sam. I think in some ways Sam may have the biggest arc in this season. 
her character is going to go through some changes. Now, when she first shows up at Miyagi-Do, uh, this is what she's wearing. And it actually looks kind of cute. I think that's her intent. She wants to impress Robbie. She's wearing pink, I think, for the first time. She wants Robbie to see her as a cute girl who does karate. Except by the end of the season, she's going to end up here. Uh, so now how did this happen? Well, the trailer hints at us that um, Sam is kind of likes Robbie. I do think actually that's why she gets back into karate. Uh, I'm going to have a, a video on relationships later. Uh, but I think she's trying to getting into karate to impress Robbie. But the problem is Robbie isn't interested in any relationship. When my dad finds out what we're up to, he is not going to know what hit him. Uh, you know, it's personal for Robbie. But Sam, who has a crush on Robbie, is going to then adapt that attitude. Um, I even talked earlier about costumes, and I thought Sam was going to be more focused on karate. And I think this is why she's following Robbie's lead. Uh, she wants Miyagi-Do to win. Uh, but it's not about like a balance. It's about beating Cobra Kai. So I don't think there's going to be any epic love story in this season. I think instead the romance or whatever will be played for humor. I uh, expect jokes like, oh, we're so in balance together. And then Sam's thinking Robbie's going to kiss her. But he's like, yeah, we totally kicked Cobra Kai's butt. And haha, it's funny. So as you're watching the season, I would say look to see where Sam goes off balance. Do the fl flutters of love sort of send Sam off balance? And what are the ultimate consequences of that? This brings us back to Tori. I've already talked about her, uh, but now with a little more info, we can say for sure. Yes, she is crazy. Uh, the main question for this season is going to be what type of crazy and why? It does look like Miguel will have a thing for her. They may get into a relationship. I think Miguel will pick up on some of her traits, her craziness, in sort of the same way Sam is going to be adopting Robbie's traits. It's something that kind of happens in a relationship. You take on characteristics of the other. Uh, this is bad for Miguel. Uh, crazy girls are the worst for a guy. If you're a young guy out there, take this lesson. Fathers teach your sons, stay away from crazy. But it can make sense for the story as we think about the series as a whole. Miguel is kind of a good kid. He's, he's on the wrong path. He may be with the wrong person here. He's going a little darker. He's taking on those traits. Uh, but it's not permanent. I see a future for Miguel where he overcomes this. But this is where he is now. It's not how I tell you to fight. Now, in regards to Tori's background, a lot of people have made note that this line... Tori! With a Y. It is totally similar to this line. Allie with an I. So the conclusion is there's a connection. Maybe Tori is actually Allie's daughter. I've had trouble with that theory from the beginning. Uh, the problem mostly being Allie knows Cobra Kai. She knows it from high school. It was big in her high school. She dated Johnny actually much longer than she dated Daniel. So even if, you know, Tori's living with her grandparents trying to get away from her parents, uh, you know, any mention between the grandparents to Allie, whatever, you know, that she's taking karate at Cobra Kai would tip Allie off. I mean, I think the fact that Allie then knows Johnny pretty well something like that would come back up i previously predicted uh tori maybe be related to crease i'm not so sure about that now but she does know fighting from somewhere maybe it's just street fighting maybe it is karate uh we don't know i do have one theory on maybe why tori actually is ali's daughter uh, it makes a lot of sense i will get to that theory at the end of the video here now, before we get to the Tori Sam fight, let's pause it right here, zoom in. You see, that's a bracelet. Now, first, I thought it was brass knuckles or maybe like a spiked brass knuckles. It's not, it is a bracelet. Obviously, still brutal. I don't think she bought that for two bucks at Walmart. Uh, and she does have at least two, 
but um, we have seen this before. You've seen this before. You see, Chun-Li was the original fighting chick with spiked bracelets. I don't know if this uh, connection was intentional. It's fun to think about. Uh, do remember Chun-Li's family were killed by M. Bison, which kind of sent her insane seeking revenge. I suppose if someone gets a chance, go ahead and ask the producers if Tori had any inspiration from our favorite Chinese fighter. Uh, it is just uh, one interesting point to keep in mind. Now on to Sam and Tori's fight. This was the part of the trailer that shocked, I think, most people. It sure looks brutal and vicious. I do think uh, this fight is the only one between Tori and Sam this season. Uh, that is, I don't think like they're showing this first fight and holding on to the real fight that's going to come later. Like this next fight is going to be even crazier. I think there's only going to be one fight between them. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we see uh, there's going to be at least two locations. Uh, they're by the lockers and on the stairs. Uh, it's possible the fight starts there. It's broken up by Robbie and Miguel. And then maybe later in the day, uh, the fight breaks out again. And on the stairs is where it's going to end. Uh, now, considering how the fight goes, uh, the one hope I have really about this isn't so much the fight itself. Is that I hope they're not fighting over spilled milk. Uh, what I mean by that, I hope it's not some situation, you know, Tori bumps Sam, Sam shoves back, Tori drops her books. Oh, look, and now Tori's ready to crush Sam's face in forever. Um, why are they so mad at each other? Why are they so pissed? Um, I think from a drama standpoint, we want the stakes to match the intensity of the fight. So what I think is going on is the rivalry between them two will be building over the whole season watch for that to build except i don't think it's going to be a physical one i think it's going to be more girl based sort of online tactics online bullying talking behind each other's backs and then eventually one day probably at the end of the season uh the whole thing is going to explode and the two are going to be going at each other um obviously in this shot if tori hits her she could be doing permanent damage uh, to Sam and to her face, it would definitely be changing sort of the trajectory of Sam's character and what's going to happen. Um, many have said, and make a good point, it does feel a little bit too dark, like, wow, this is a little bit more than we were expecting. Um, even though, actually, in Karate Kid 2, uh, we had the cycle uh, chosen. He was fighting Daniel to the death. I mean, the series has actually been here before. Uh, plus, I'd point out the show already has one character with permanent face damage. Uh, it could be interesting if we added a second to that and how that would play out. Uh, but never fear. Actually, if you look at the last frame here in this shot, uh, we can see Sam's hand coming up. Even though I was like, holy shit, is she going to block that? But hey, uh, go Miyagi-Do, karate for self-defense. Although I would recommend in the end maybe uh, some MMA, defensive leg grappling, a leg guard maybe uh, more effective than trying to throw up a block from the prone position. Um, but even if she does manage to block that, whatever's going to happen here, uh, we're definitely going to see some serious repercussions from this fight. Uh, we'll finish up with Daniel and Johnny. Johnny, I believe, counterintuitively uh, needs balance, and over the course of the season, he's going to be searching for that balance uh, between what he knows, the way he wants Cobra Kai to be, and with Crease and Crease's teachings, Crease who pushes too far, uh, Johnny's actually searching for the balance that Daniel offers. On the other side, I think Daniel starts off balance. Uh, but he's going to start losing it over the course of the season. We can see this in the three confrontations between Daniel and Johnny. Uh, the first one is going to be probably maybe even the first episode at the end. Um, maybe this is after Sam tells Daniel how Cobra Kai is getting more popular at school. Daniel heads over there, tries to talk to Johnny one last time. Maybe he can find reason, hope Johnny's more receptive. But instead, he finds Johnny with Crease. Johnny and Crease are working back together. It sets Daniel off. He just leaves. Uh, the second encounter, I think, is going to be mid-season. I think that fight is going to be 
after the mall confrontation, uh, Daniel's furious at what happened. Uh, he barges right into Cobra Kai, is confronting Johnny, wants it to put a stop to it, all the fight, all the mall action. That's what's happening. Uh, it doesn't succeed. I think the third time is after uh, the Tory Sam fight. This is where it's getting too personal for Daniel. Uh, his daughter could have even been killed or may have permanent damage. Uh, Daniel doesn't care. He's over at Johnny's apartment. He goes right to Johnny's home. He was going to confront them there. We have, of course, been teased with a rematch between Daniel and Johnny for a while now. Um, I don't think that's going to come. I, we're still going to have to wait. It's not going to happen here. We see the beginning of a fight, but I don't think the fight is going to go much further. But now you wonder why is that? Um, Daniel's wife isn't there to stop it and offer breakfast this time. So who's going to stop the fight considering what they're fighting over? The only answer I could come up with actually is Allie. Why would Allie be there? The same reason Daniel's there. Her daughter was just in a br brutal school fight. She's trying to figure out what happened. Remember Miguel, maybe her boyfriend, uh, lives across the ways trying to find out who's the karate instructor and then she walks right in on daniel and johnny fighting uh for her it's like a flashback to high school and she remembers why she dumped them i actually think the season could end with Allie dumping both daniel and johnny again and taking her daughter with her so that could be how this all ends so i want to get out about two more videos before season two comes out uh, the first would be on the relationships, uh, who's hitting it off, who's getting it on. Another video on the bullying aspect, who's the bullies. I want to try to dissect that a little bit more and look into it. Um, if you have an idea, go ahead and leave a comment below. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. I'm trying to build the audience. This is great stuff. Uh, check out our sponsor, Gravity Bakery. Uh, best cookies and brownies. Get it for your watch party. Order now. They got a sale going on. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This isn't a tournament. This is real life. There are no rules.